this was a very, very uh, wonderful tour. I have not been in this uh, museum for 25 years, at least. And it's different. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed being here. Um, even, and despite the, the other energy being in these rooms, the energy, the kinetic energy, our energy, from all these statues and writings is overwhelming all other energies um, in this museum. So um, I know that you all have learned a lot. She is a great teacher. It really is. And I'm amazed. I love all of this, all of his students. The future is really going to be secure because of all of you and all the work that you're doing and, and studying and learning. Everyone is so serious, serious about the language, serious about the culture. And part of that is, for all of you, uh, we have to give great honor and respect to my student, Ephendishi, because he's bringing up another generation, the next generation of scholars and warriors and, and cultural people uh, to continue the legacy. Dua. So, and, so I have to say dua to all of you for all of the whole hard work that you are doing and making sure that our future is really secure. I'm just going to, before turning over to Dr. Jeffries, I'm going to say the Hotep Dina suit that wasn't said today. So I will do that. Hotep Dina suit, Lucia, Inpu, Jehuti, Ma'at, Aset, Sashat, Setesh, Neturu Ea, Di Senu, Peret Keru, Ka, Tau, Ka Hinkwetu, Ka Seshu, Ka Minketu, Ka Sinetu, Ka Wa, Ka Chet Nebet, Neperet Wabet, Anchet, Netu I. Dedet pet, quima ta, inet hapi, onk nature im, in ka in, imakiu imiu hat, dua naturu, dua naturu, dua naturu. And so you can see our language is not dead. So uh, I also want to say, you just put your left foot forward. You know we give homage to the divine trinities. And so we're going to close it. Anejadak kanu. Anejadak kanu. Anejadak kanu. Anejadak satet. Anejadak patah. Anejadak patah. Anejadak sekmet. A Nejarak Nefer Atu. A Nejarak Ra. A Nejarak Petharu. A Nejarak Atu. A Nejarak Amin Ra. A Nejarak Mut. A Nejarak May the power of the room, higher consciousness, be with all of us. May he fly above all of our anguish, all of our foes. May he fly above the storm we are withering right now. May our consciousness bring us up there so that we can see what is happening to us, so that we can make the changes we can make. May our journey home be safe. May our lives be safe because the natural are with us. Amen. Yeah, brothers and sisters, I really want to, uh, as one of the elders, in a few months I'll be 80. So 
my mentors were Dr. Clark, Dr. Ben, Dr. Chancellor, Sheikh Anta Uh So you really see generations of struggle and achievement taking place. Sister McKetty, we met her when she was working to help lay the foundation for the temple in Chicago, uh, the Kinetic Institute that uh, Barbara Jake uh, Carruthers symbolized. And uh, she, so she carried the light from Chicago, and now she's spreading it around the world. And our great Imhotep of modern times, Sheikh Anta Jim, he honestly believes that the light for the future of the African world would come from the West and would reverberate back to the continent. And that dynamic would produce the global African Renaissance, which is actually taking place, but it's hard for us to see. This knowledge that's being unveiled is actually laying the foundations for a global African family founded on the deep foundations of our traditions and strengthened through the struggles that we've had to go through, losing our humanity, but recovering it. And so the knowledge is not for us to struggle against each other, but to speak truth to power, the big lie that's existing in this building itself. Because they've tried to, over the years, take the statues of the ancients of Africa and Greekify them. And so that's what they're doing with the culture. So we need to speak truth to power. But we need to speak love to empower. So when you get this knowledge and this understanding, it has to be a process of you loving self and you loving family and you using it to build. You can use it to destroy the enemy, but that can't be all of the enemy. Frederick Taylor says best, if there's no struggle, there's no progress, but you got to struggle against your enemy. But then you have to have the energy and the power to speak truth, to empower, so that we're not, we've got a double responsibility. We've got to fight this battle, but then we've got to win the war, and that we have to build for eternity. And that came out of Chicago, definitely. Out of Chicago. This struggle for each other. So my wife is downstairs. She's waiting for us downstairs, but Baba Jake, who carried this intellectual warfare, spiritual warfare to its highest level, using Chicago as the base. But last week I was in his hometown, San Antonio. He would always begin something important with a profound moment of silence. So we're about something important, trying to recapture our power in order to empower ourselves for the future. So if we can end this fantastic activity that our brother Amphidisi and others have put together with a profound moment of silence so that the ancestors can speak to you, so that the divine order can be a part of you, so that you can remember those bridges that brought you across. Those ancestors, known and unknown, that are a part of you, they're in you. We are the ancestors. And in us is our future. So a profound moment of silence, please.